This is way better than I expected. Sepi, how are you? Hey, Johan, I'm well and you? Good, man. Welcome here at Magnum Archery. Thanks for the invite, Sep. <laughs> From the RX-1 to this RX-4, there's a massive change on it. When I was shooting it now, I couldn't feel any vibration on my hand. And I love what it did with the riser. What else did weight change on this new RX-4? Yeah, Johan, I mean, you're you, uh, a few generations behind on the, on the <laughs> carbon models. Uh, and I'm glad you had the opportunity to come and shoot the new carbon bows. Uh, this being the RX4 Ultra, you're shooting a 30 inch plus draw length. So yeah. the RX4 Ultra is definitely a bow that is built for someone with a slightly longer draw length. And I mean, you've shown, uh, you know, you, you sometimes need to shoot at a longer distance than, yeah. you know, than some of the other guys and you've got the capability to do so. So the RX4 Ultra is definitely a bow that's got a, a really nice stable platform for the longer draw archers. Um, the bow can, you know, the bow can go up to a 32 inch draw, it can go up to 80 pounds. Um, so any big dangerous game animal that you want to go and hunt, this would be the bow to go for. And even yeah, yeah. for the shorter draw guys, yeah. that's, I'm talking about 27 to 29 inches, it will be a very nice stable bow to hunt with at longer distances. Um, and this is only one of the three models in the, in the RX series. This being the Ultra, slightly longer axle to axle, 34 inches. It's shooting 334 feet per second on IBO. Okay. And then um, a bow that I was using this weekend at a 3DI Nationals was the RX4 Turbo. So the Turbo just stating that it's blistering fast, it's 350 feet per second. It's a, it's a six inches brace height, okay. 31 inch axle to axle. And most people would think that a bow that's shooting this fast six inch brace height is not as forgiving. But yeah. I set this bow up on Friday and we did the tournament Saturday and Sunday and I actually managed to pull off a win on, <laughs> over the weekend. Um, I shot really good scores with it. Yeah. I was surprised on how easy the bow was aiming, how stable it was, um, how accurate it was. Um, and obviously how fast the bow is shooting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I shot close to a 400 grain arrow and I'm shooting a 29 inch draw. Um, I shot it at 70 pounds and yeah. I shot about 325 feet per second. Yeah, that's so real good, eh? it's, it's really good speed for that, for that weight arrow. So this bow, as I said, is 350 feet per second, um, 31 inch axle to axle, 6 inch brace height bow. Um, it, it, it's got a maximum draw weight capacity of 70 pounds, but the Kinetic energy that it generates at 70 pounds is very similar to some of the 80 pound bows. Wow. So, okay. um, uh, you know, you don't always have to pull high poundage to generate yeah. the energy. Yeah. Or it really managed to uh, get this turbo cam uh, to, to generate really good energy. Yeah. No, so, so you yeah. know, this is a uh, one of this is the second um, model yeah. of of the Hoyt uh, RX series, and then lastly. Um, the Alpha series, which is actually, let me just stop it here. This is the. Oh, it's real short. Yeah, so this is the. Are. This is probably the most popular one. Yeah. This is the Alpha series, the RX4 Alpha. It's uh, uh, just under 30 inch axle to axle, so yeah. it's nice and short. Yeah. It's very nice for people that are doing a lot of walk and stalk yeah. hunting, yeah. tight spaces, you know, it's confined height spaces, yeah. uh, three stands. And it's shooting at 342 feet per second, which is really um, a really good speed. Yeah. Um, and in my opinion, one of the, the nicer um, um, features on this bow is this cam system, which is the same on the Ultra, yeah. where it's got an inner module that is rotatable in draw length. So okay. it can rotate from 27 to 30 inches just by loosening the screws. You don't need a bow press. Yeah. You just loosen the module and you can rotate it to the different oh, draw length. Awesome, yeah. so, you know, for the youngsters growing up um, that's 16 odd years old, that's still in the growing phases, 15, 16 years old, this is the one bow buy for them. Yeah, it's know? perfect for them to grow into, yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, and obviously the carbon rises, like you say, the vib mm. you didn't hardly feel any vibration. Yeah. The riser design is stiff. It's a, it's a, I mean, Wood really knows how to work these carbon bows. Yeah. Um, they've made a slight change from the RX3. 
uh, slight riser change to the bow, so it's taking out a lot of the vibration. Um, and obviously the, the cam system that um, is adjustable in draw length with the module, it's got a, they've brought in this module system, which is a big change that it, it actually has got cable stops on it. Okay. So it's got a very nice stable uh, back wall, yeah. and it's got a nice valley, and it's extremely smooth. You know, we've had some people shoot these bows at 80 pounds, and they didn't believe it's 80 pounds. So yeah. we had to show them on the bow scale. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I think the weight engineers really, really did something nice um, again. Yeah, it's for me difficult to believe that. I was so impressed with the Oryx one. And I mean, two years later, they bring out this Oryx four. Yeah. I'm completely blown away. Yeah, no, they, they keep on improving um, <laughs> and uh, they keep on pushing the boundaries. So I'm looking forward to a good hunting season, that's for sure. Yeah, no, definitely. Sep, so I've got some friends with really long arms. Do you have something for them? Yes, you know, now that uh, we talk about the big boys, um, you know, Wade's brought this bow out called the Double XL. Yeah. Um, it's a bow that is uh, specifically manufactured for the, for the longer draw. Um, guys with okay. longer arms, the maximum draw length this bow can go to is 34 inches. Wow. So, the, you know, you can just imagine the speed and kinetic <laughs> energy um, it generates. Yeah. So, um, the double XL is a 20, it was in the 2019 lineup, still carries through to, the 20, to 2020. Yeah, yeah. Um, aluminium riser, um, you know, the cam design with the module is, yeah. is, is, is the same as 2019. They didn't make any, any changes to that. Okay. Um, it's almost like if something works, why fix it? So yeah. if something's not broken, why fix it? So, um, you know, this is, is, is for, the, for the bigger guys out there. Okay. Sep, and you've competed at international levels for how many years now? Wade has launched a new target bow as well. Yeah, and uh, it's something we've been looking forward to for a while, um, you know, also, again, the Prevail has seen records broken, medals won. People would say a personal best shot on, you know, on the tournament range. People would say, how can it get better? Can you shoot higher scores, etc.? Yeah. And, um, you know, what's launched this uh, Hoyt Invicta. So the Prevail has been in the range for three years. The Invicta is a 2020 model, 40-inch um, axle-to-axle okay. bow. Uh, the, and the other option is a 37 axle-to-axle. Um, and they've made a few changes on that as well. They've brought down a new um, a modular changeable cam for the guys that don't want to shoot the aggressive um, SVX cam. Um, and it's already seen really good scores and records broken again in the short period that it's been out. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, what, in my opinion, from a, well, in all fields, but in a target perspective, an Olympic field, yeah. I mean, it's definitely a, a dominant force yeah, to yeah. Yeah, to deal definitely. with. So, um, uh, what's nice about the target bows, uh, a nice feature is the grip system that's interchangeable. And by just changing the grip here, you loosen the two screws, you can take the grip out. Yeah. You can put new grips in that is angled at different angles, and also some grips where you can actually shorten your draw length with an eighth of an inch. So, for yeah. the target guys, that is really something that adds value. If you just want to shorten or lengthen your draw length yeah, with yeah. an eighth of an inch, you can do so just by changing that. And that small adjustment can help you gain that big score you look It for. makes a big difference in yeah. being able to hold the bow steady and, uh, and being able to just pull through the shot and so on. Yeah, yeah. So Seb, we talked about this, this weight alpha for the RX range. Um, now for the younger kids, what, what bows would you recommend for them to look at? You, uh, something that we we get asked quite a lot is, you know, my boy's growing up, I don't want to buy a bow for him every year or every second year, you know, what, what options do you have available? And what Hoyt has um, and has had for a while is the Hoyt Clash. Yeah. So this bow is adjustable from 15 pounds to 70 pounds. Wow. It's adjustable from 18 inches to 29 inches. Sure, okay. So just about every guy that walks into the shop can actually shoot this bow. Yeah. And I mean, we've had adults shoot this bow at 29 inches. They go hunting with it. They shoot competitions with it. Wow. Obviously, there's bows that perform better. Um, but just from a, a platform where you want to purchase a bow, get started with, grow with the bow, and you can always just donate it or, or easily sell it to so many other people. So the Clash is definitely one of the bows that is, uh, is one of the nicest bows out there for those you know, really adjustable bows. Yeah, I mean, if you teach your children from the younger age how to look after your bow, this will last you five, six, seven years maybe. The only only upgrades you need to do on bows like these or 
is, is maybe strings. If you yeah, shot yeah. a couple of thousands of shots, you know, these white bows are extremely durable with limbs and with risers. Um, they do dry fire test um, in the factory and, you know, from a manufacturer's perspective, Voigt is definitely uh, a world class when it comes to durability. Yeah. Sepp, now moving into the 2020 season, I'm really excited to see what this RX4 is going to do. <laughs> I mean, just shooting at one arrow, I'm blown away by the results of it already. And I really can't wait to use this RX4 Ultra in the 2020 season. Yeah, I've got no doubt you'll see an increase in performance from kinetic energy perspective and more importantly, accuracy. Yeah. You know, being able to get more confidence at longer distances. You know, you never know if you need to make that shot at that longer distance. It, um, I've got no doubt that you'll be able to, to get it done with this bow. Good. We're looking forward to see your videos and trophy photos with the bow next to your trophy animal. Oh, Sepp, with the guidance from you, I'm sure I'm going <laughs> to live up to that standard. <laughs> looking forward to it. Thank you for popping by and uh, thanks to the Antic team. And we, we appreciate your your support. and uh, and and. and testing the, the products for us in the field, which matters the most to, to our viewers. Oh, Sepp, you know, for us it's a huge thing for someone like you to support us. So thanks for all the support throughout the years and we can't wait to share all those memories with you as well. Sounds good. Good luck. Thanks.